Hey there, it's Phoenix Amore. So you know how I go through spurts when I start articulating on some things and I'm able to kind of get them out there. So for those that had been on Facebook just now when I posted some things as the clarity starts to basically hit people about the different reasons people say single, I took things a little further. I started to speak about Adam and Eve. Okay, what did I say? God is very simple. God basically said, hey, all you have to do is not. You have food, you have shelter, you have all these things that I'm already providing, right? Leaning on God in faith, you're going to be provided for. When you understand the symbolism of the Bible, this is the one beautiful thing about that oldest, as we have our conversations, and I basically told him the Bible stories are about lessons. And so that's after he said that to one of his professors. So you see now when I've raised these young men to think for themselves, to be able to philosophize for themselves, to be able to think about things abstractly, intellectually, emotionally, understanding certain things, all those are important. So when I'm talking about the elements, emotional, intellect, all those things are important in making well-rounded individuals. Now, let me expand on something. I said, understand what the serpent was offering in that garden to Adam and Eve as to what they're missing. That is a key thing if you understand somebody trying to get you to do some things that you don't feel are quite right. You missing out. Have you ever heard those words from people constantly? And a lot of the times you'll hear more from those that are like, oh, you're too uptight. You don't know what you're missing out on. You have to be very cautious because I put it so simply, didn't I? I said, what did the serpent appeal to? The desire for more. Never having enough. Now, let me expand on something. God does not mind people having prosperity who are responsible with it this is why i was breaking it down to those that try to act charitable but knowing they have been thieving in other areas and then just act like it didn't happen but even deeper think about it from a spiritual perspective think about this very clearly about what i'm about to say are you accumulating wealth to provide or because you want to have more money than so and so that again is something that god would look down on Think about what I just said. God wants a man, man, to be provider. That was instilled in man to acquire things because they were meant to provide. When you lose sight of why you're acquiring and what the purpose of that built-in innate nature to a man that's supposed to provide is, you lose touch with God. That's all I was saying to people when I called it paper chasing, right? and losing sight of the whole point. It is about being able to provide. When you've lost touch with that, I'm going to say it one more time, you've lost touch with God. Take care.